everybody, it's Jen, and welcome to week six. I can't believe we're in week six already. Uh, I just wanted to check in quickly and show you where we're at for this week and a couple of minor changes on our Moodle site. So first of all, you'll see that now that we are past whole numbers, uh, the whole numbers section is no longer at the top of the page. So if you need to review those concepts, multiplication, division, all that stuff, they're going to be all the way down here now. There it is. Um, so just go past the fractions and you can find whole numbers if you need them. But our focus now is on fractions. And from what I've seen on Khan Academy, almost everybody is into the heart of fractions and doing surprisingly well. So that's good news. As you go through, you can always click here to find the Google spreadsheet that will give you all of the assignments for the fractions unit. Um, and they're, you know, laid out in order that you should tackle them by date. So you can find your way through however it's most comfortable for you. Um, I've had some really great sessions with those of you who scheduled a first exam review. If you want to see the problems you missed on the first exam, you've got to schedule a session with me. I can't make the exam available to everybody in the class because um, not everyone who is enrolled has taken the exam yet. Um, so if you want to know how you did on that, just send me a message. We'll work out a time. And these have been really great sessions um, online so far, so I really encourage you to do that. Um, I've also really enjoyed reading the results journals that have been coming in, talking about how you felt you did on the first exam, and if anxiety about taking the math exam has been a problem for you in the past, um, definitely, you know, touch base with me before you head into the second exam. Let's talk about some ways to de-escalate that stress because I'm interested in how well you do at math, not how well you take tests. So I'd love to strategize with you about that. All right. So here are last week's assignments. And most people have made it through the majority of these. I know that the um, multiplication as scaling one was very difficult. Thank you to those who worked through all of that. Um, I'm sorry, that was in last week. And quiz number three is available until tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 11th. So you got to take it before the end of the day, like 11.55 p.m. on Wednesday. If you think you're going to need more time on that, just send me an email so I can make sure that it stays open for you past that date. And also so that we can strategize how to get you caught up on the rest of the assignments. Now, this week you're tackling mixed numbers mostly which would be things like one and a half, two and three fourths, etc. Um, something that I want to add about this is that uh, is that I know these all have the same name right through here, but they're not the same exercises. They're just all dealing with mixed numbers all together. Uh, because by the time we get to this section, you're going to be combining all of the skills that you've learned in the last two weeks. So you may need to go back a couple of times, refresh on, say, what do I do when I'm adding, what do I do when I'm multiplying, and then come back to these. And then we hit division with fractions last. Uh, for some folks, this will be the easiest thing that you do with fractions. So if that's you, yay, you're not getting it wrong. It just uh, requires a different way of thinking than addition and subtraction, which really are the hardest parts of fractions uh, requires. So once you've tackled all of those, try this practice for quiz four, and then um, on Valentine's Day, which is Saturday, the uh, fourth quiz opens up. So you'll notice it says February 17th. If you're doing one practice every weekday, then you would take this quiz on the 17th. But you can take it anytime starting on Saturday. If you've worked ahead and you would like to take it earlier, just drop me an email and I will be happy to open that up for you. Then notice that there's this extra assignment that's not through Khan Academy. It tackles a couple of things that are required through the math department for Math 10 that we don't have good representations of 
through the Khan Academy. Um, and then next week will be exam number two taken in the testing center. So. so this is definitely the week to get in touch with me if you are having uh, fraction anxiety or nightmares or they're creeping up on you in the dark or whatever is happening with fractions uh, because I can help now before the exam much better than I can help after the exam is taken. Uh, after exam two you'll notice the decimals unit will open up. I'll probably open it next week. And at the bottom you'll also see this Math 20 prep work is available. That's not for extra credit and it's not assigned, but if you want to get a jump on the next level of math, you can use that. I'm also going to open up a Khan Academy section so you could use that to review the concepts that come up in Math 20. So if after this class you want to retake the placement test, you could do that and see how you score. Maybe you'll jump a class, which would be great. Anyway, if you have questions this week, please look me up, send me an email, schedule an online session with me. Um, and I would be happy to talk to you anytime. Have a great week six, and good luck. <laughs>